Right, good morning and welcome back to another episode of uh, Off The Beaten Track. But this week, things are going to be a little bit different. Not so much about the golf course, but the golfers that are taking part in what is a very special event. Today's golf event was organised by the Invictus Games Foundation and the part of the Beyond the Games programme. The Foundation's work extends far beyond the Invictus Games and they help the service community 365 days a year. The Invictus Games Foundation helps the International WIS community, which stands for Wounded, Injured or Sick. And it's not just veterans, they also help the service community and you don't have to be a veteran to be involved. So the emphasis on um, on the Invictus Games is recovery, and it's 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 bringing together a group of soldiers, airmen, seamen, marines from over 20 different nations who have been injured, whether it be in the line of duty or it could it could be injured at home. It could be medical conditions such as cancer. Like you know, I, I've met a whole different load of people um, last year and uh, yeah it's all medical conditions basically and the Invictus Games is all about recovery it's how can we get this person from from the broken state that they've found themselves in yeah. to an advanced state through sport. So I served for 14 years in the British Army um, and um, unfortunately I was diagnosed with uh, post-traumatic stress disorder um, and uh, in 2019 the military decided to medically discharge me. Um, my journey after that was um, quite horrendous really, uh, I was left on my own um, right. uh, to rot really um, in many ways but if it wasn't for the work of, of, of a number of charities, veterans charities that came through, um, yeah I don't know where I would have been but, but basically I initially found a charity called On Course Foundation which do golf um, and that was my first step of recovery through them they got me in touch with the Invictus Games right. I then um, and then I contacted applied for the Invictus Games Fantastic. and yeah and then now I'm here today and, and from a golf perspective were you, were you a golfer before uh, no no so I, I played in my last year of military service that's where I started playing okay. and then um, and then I found out about the On Course Foundation okay um, and they, they they got me playing golf around the country Get, got me a handicap. Right. Um, just help. It, they gave us. They helped us get clubs. Oh, and, fantastic. Yeah, and then it, it was. Just, it's been an amazing journey with the golf. So aside from your, what you're competing in, yeah. in the games, how do you find golf as a sport? Is that uh, something that do you find it therapeutic or not? Because I, I find it the opposite. <laughs> uh, it, it is actually the most therapeutic sport. Oh, good. Um, it's. It's so nice just being out in the fresh air. Yeah. And one thing that you find with a lot of the guys, even a lot of the guys, what I hear this this over this two days, you know. A lot of us don't get out that much and right. coming out on the golf course for four or five hours is the yeah. only time a lot of these guys will get out of the house in All the week. Right. Okay. And just being out in the fresh air and just oh, th there's something just amazing about it. Yeah, yeah. Well, I hope you had a good day. Yes, it, it's been it's been good. Yeah, I didn't play particularly well today. No. But uh, again, all, so. had some great, great chats, great yeah. conversations, met three new guys and it's just, uh, yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, we can all learn a lot from that. So. Uh, Good luck. Yeah, next thank year. you so much. Thank Hope you. it goes well, and thanks for chatting to our audience and explaining thank you. that. If you are watching and have been injured in service or a veteran, you can join the We Are Invictus platform and sign up for events like this golf challenge. Events are organised all over the world, so if any military people are watching and think they might be eligible, you can download the We Are Invictus app or simply Google We Are Invictus. Show. I had a feeling that was going to be very close. Oh, good, no, good. Okay, that's yes. <laughs> 
Here's an extract taken from the Invictus Games Foundation website that is both humbling and inspirational and something that I feel a lot of golfers could learn from. The Invictus Games are about more than sport, with a focus on participation rather than the medal table. The Invictus Games celebrate personal bests and making it to the start line. Finally, if you wish to support the work of the Invictus Games Foundation, you can make a donation via the link in the description below or on screen now. Right, so that was Friday and then sit forward 48 hours and we traveled quite the other end of the country, but I'm in a place called Kirby Lonsdale, which is on the sort of uh, Lancaster, Cumbria border area. This golf course, by the way, is absolutely stunning. But the time that I spent with the Invictus Games Foundation, as it's known, it was incredibly humbling. And you, you certainly, you do realize just, you know, how lucky you are. And I know it's easy to say that, but when you're whinging about playing a bad golf shot, you soon realize there's far more important things going on in life. And they're just, uh, they're just enjoying it so much out there. And uh, the foundation itself is just doing an incredible job about getting people into sport. Uh, but in this case, obviously um, a nice golf day. So Celtic Manor was also really nice. The sun was shining as it is today. So what I'm going to do today is uh, not so much of the normal off the beaten track episode. Um, I'm going to show you around Kirby Lonsdale to a degree um, and we'll have a little bit of a chat about a few things as we go. But as you can see, if you can point the camera down that way, we've got a gorgeous opening hole. I've already drove around the back nine and honestly, this place is well and truly off the beaten track and an absolute must visit. I'll tell you that now and I'm only halfway down the first hole. I'm going to talk to you in this video about basically what we do for a living uh, outside of the videos that you see. I'm visiting golf clubs like Kirby Longsdale. Um, this is a really good feature they've added into their tee boxes. Um, we're the kind of progressive club who are looking to do things in terms of marketing and get people involved in the golf club. And that, that's the bit that I'm gonna tell you about what we do to try and help in doing that. But they're doing a great thing, what I've just scanned in is a QR code, which is on each of the tee boxes. And uh, there is a little, and I'll see if we can pick it up on the camera. I'm probably best off just overlaying this, but if you can see there, I'm getting a little insight into the hole and what we're about to play. So a little flyover. That's really good, but I love working with um, ultimately progressive golf clubs. And like I said, that means people uh, in the right positions that are forward enough thinking to understand how social media, websites and marketing is a real must for any golf club nowadays. And that's great to see what Kirby Lonsdale have already done. And with what we're doing here today, I'm hoping it'll further help promote what is an absolutely stunning golf course, which I've already said numerous occasions. What you're looking at right now is some drone footage that uh, is one of the things we spend a lot of time doing, which is A, to try and um, give you as a viewer a better idea of what the golf course looks like, um, but also in this case to help Kirby Lonsdale show off what their golf club looks like to potential, uh, potential visitors and golfers. And uh, drone footage to me is the best way in which you can do that. And as you can see from this par three that I'm about to play, it's, uh, it's a pretty damn decent looking hole. Right, I better concentrate for a second. That new secret weapon. I hope it's not too long. Sit. Oh, it is. Oh, hang on now. Stay there. Ah, just a tad too long. Uh, it's playing 190 but elevated, so I had a fear it might be. That's that four iron I've been getting pretty excited about in a few recent episodes. 
But the thing I wanted to talk about in today's video was, from your perspective, what would you like to see more of? So you know we do a lot of travel content, people like that. We do the product reviews as well. I've kind of calmed that down a little bit and been a little bit more selective in that process. And then the third thing, we, we had the test in the tips channel and we've also sort of, um, in, in recent weeks, picked that up again as well and put a few of them on. So, But I'm always interested to know from your perspective, it's great to get uh, customer feedback, we'll call it, and let us know what it is you want to see more or less of. I'd like to hear from you. This was nearly so good, and I've just run. Oh, this is awkward, isn't it? Do you know what? I could not have played that any better. And it's without doubt a part of my game which has improved massively and helping me become a better golfer. When the golf goes garbage, when you've got backdrops like that, which is what I keep continually saying throughout this kind of stuff, then uh, you can really not bother what happens because look at that. So one of the big uh, sort of changes for us was down to you really, we included photographs in video for the first time when we started this off the beaten track series. Uh, lots of you get involved each week and vote for what you feel is best and nine times out of ten Tracy wins. Um, but what, it's, what we recognised was we created a lot of content, both video and photographic, that was being essentially wasted. And a lot of you suggested we do something with the clubs um, and effectively that's what it's led to. And in the last year or so, we set up a different business which just looks at producing video and photographic content for the golf club, on behalf of the golf club, to help them with social media and with marketing. And that essentially is what we seem to spend a lot of our weeks doing. So keeping the YouTube thing going right now and the other bit, certainly through the summer months, has been a real challenge. And uh, what I've got to tell you is very shortly, we need a break because we haven't stopped for, I think we've done 36 episodes on the bounce and we've pretty much traveled every week. It's not a complaint by the way, we appreciate all your support, but very soon, and this could be the last Monday night episode for, we'll say a few weeks at least. And what I've also been reminded by the camera woman who wins photo of the week every week, that it is that time. So don't forget, Tracy or Andy, comment section down below. Let me know what you think of these from Kirby Lonsdale. <laughs> Thank you.
Right, I think we better have another bit of a challenge hole. We'll feature this one. The 10th hole, 500, uh, sorry, 484 yards. I'm going to play it from the white because it's this elevated T position. And you can see how well manicured everything is here. Crisscross patterns in the fairways, all the fringes are cut nice, the greens have been superb, and uh, we've managed to get a ball. It was a bit tight to the left, but it's managed to come back a little bit, and we should have a good angle in, because it looks like it makes its way round to the right. right so let me get this four iron going. Leave a little bit of a wedge in. Wasn't the best of swings, but the club's done its job. Stay on the short stuff. Yeah, that's not bad at all. That's not bad. Come on, be right. Be right. Is it, oh. Well, that's just a, disappeared. I'm not too sure where, but that's gotta be close. Shocking. Shocking. That was close. Close. But what you couldn't see from the back of the tee was uh, this lovely stream that runs between me and uh, the green. And they've got some drone footage which gives you a better example of just why this is such a good hole at Kirby Lonsdale. There's a 17th, and I'm going to call it quits there. Um, so the whole video has been a bit, of a bit of a strange one, almost a bit of behind the scenes. You've seen what happened um, at the Invictus Games Foundation and a tremendous cause and what they're doing there has been incredible. Like I said, I'm very humbling. It was great to be involved. And then uh, to come out today at Kirby Lonsdale, a lot of what we've been doing is some photography um, and video work, as I've explained. But along the way, I thought I'd show you around at the same time. So I hope you've enjoyed it. It is, without doubt, well worth a visit. It's been immaculate. Right, that's me done. Thanks for watching. As I said, I think it's going to be the final episode on Monday evening for a couple of weeks and uh, we'll see where we end up next.